Have you ever wondered how you can actually run a business while having a family? I know that some people think, and it's an objection, that how can I run a business when I have a family? I'm already super, super busy. How in the world can I do this? There's, there's just no way that I can do this. So that is exactly what I am here to share with you about today. So if that is definitely an interest to you, you want to be watching. If you have not friend requested, if you've not followed, if you've not turned on the notifications, please do so because that way you can be notified when I am here live. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Hamas and I am a beauty influencer here on Facebook. I love to come on here and inspire and empower other people to live their very best life while staying true to themselves and not caring what other people think. So I think that is very, very important also for us to embrace our beauty, what we already um, have on the outside, but also what is on the inside, because in all honesty, our beauty is not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside, you know? You can have a pretty face, but a very dark soul, and that's never fun, okay? Um, so I just put on some face cream, my Calendula face cream, and I also put on some of my SPS SPF 30 because I need to protect my face and of course I'm going to put on my primer. I love this one because it gives me that nice dewy effect that I love with my skin. Um, I prefer more of a dewy wet look just because my skin is a little bit older and having it look really dry and kind of crusty or a really matte finish, that is not the best look for my skin. <laughs> not the best look. So we're just putting this on, but I wanted to talk about the advantages of having a family while running a business. Um, I was listening to a podcast and came across this and I was just like, you know, this is so, so true. So if you're here on the live, drop a one in the comments. If you are here on the playback, which I know many of you will, will watch on the playback, drop a two. And of course, if you are brand new, thank you so much for being here. Drop a three in the comments so that I can come back and thank you. So it's, it's an objection, okay? And I'm sorry, but I don't live by objections <laughs> in my life, okay? There are some serious advantages of owning your own business while having a family. And the first one, number one, is time, okay? Um, I feel being a parent that I am able to I am able to manage my time better, okay? Time, it is a huge advantage, okay? So in network marketing, you have probably heard of the 80-20 rule, okay? Having a family makes you better at identifying, at identifying those 20 percenters, those ones that you need to work with because they are in it to win it, okay? Plain and simple. You don't focus... You don't focus on the 80 percenters, the ones that are not serious about their business. You are there for the ones that are serious about their business and they are wanting to do something. So you spend your time with the 20 percenters, okay? And having a family and being a parent, it makes you better at identifying those 20 percenters with their activities and you kind of ignore the rest, okay? Saying no is extremely, extremely important in owning your own business because I'm sorry, you cannot do it all. And, and sometimes that can be difficult to, difficult to handle and very difficult to come to grips with. But when you are a parent and you have children, um, I'll be honest, you get in the practice of saying no. You really, really do. Number two is perspective, okay? Being a parent, you have more of a, a perspective, you know? I'm going to be honest. Sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it sucks to be in network marketing, in direct sales. You know, 
you could possibly have a day where it just sucks all around. Maybe you lost a client, okay? Maybe, maybe um, you feel like you're failing. Maybe you're getting ready to launch this amazing website that you have been pouring your heart and your soul into it so many hours and it's not ready to go by the deadline that you wanted. Some days freaking suck. But think about this. When you have a child that comes up to you, they wrap their arms around you and they just say, Mommy, I love you. Think about that. How does that make your day? You know, a child, it's so funny and so interesting how children, they don't always know what's going on, but they can feel it. So if you have this stress or you have this day where just nothing is going right, your kids can feel it and they come up to you and they wrap your arms around you. Or think about your children. Maybe you have little kids and they like to sit there and they're like, hey, mommy, why don't you come and join our little tea party? You know, come and spend some time with us. That can put a huge, huge smile on your face, okay? But children, children are such a blessing in our life and they really give us that beautiful perspective that many times we may not always really think about. They, they know exactly they know exactly when they need when they need to come up and give you a hug and give you a kiss and say mommy it's going to be all right. You are going to have days that are like that. Okay? Um and I mean how can you not smile? You know, who cares? Who cares if if your business has struggles and fails? Okay? Who cares if you have to work another job to make ends meet. That's okay. If I accomplish nothing else in my life, okay, besides raising my littles and spending time with them, how could I ever call that a waste? How could I ever call it a waste? You know what I mean? Drop a heart in the comments if you understand exactly what I'm talking about. That perspective is so healthy for you and needed, okay? Yes, we all want to be working. Yes, we do. We can easily throw ourselves, okay? We can easily throw ourselves into our work, probably like 110%, right? But you want to be more, you want to be more than just your work. You want to be known more than just for your work, okay? Families, families have an amazing way of helping you see that, okay? They have an amazing way of helping you see that. You know, when I first started, I was extremely busy. My husband was deployed. I had a newborn. I had a two-year-old. I was working full-time on the weekends, okay, as a travel nurse. At the same time, I was in school for my nurse practitioner degree. I didn't have time. But I did it anyway because I knew something needed to change in my life. I needed to own something that was for me because I had completely lost myself in being a mother and not being who it was that I was meant to be. Okay? Number three, motivation. This one just really speaks for itself in all honesty, okay? If you have children, no matter what type of person you are, type A or type B, you are, you know, I'm a type A. I'll be honest. I am a type A. So a lot of times I can be right in the middle, but hardly am I ever a type B, okay? I am a type A. I like to have everything organized. You have sleepless nights. You're willing to put in. I'm going to tell you right now that you are still human, okay? And I'm going to be honest. Humans, we are lazy, we are lazy as no tomorrow, okay? We are lazy as beep, okay? All honesty. 
We prefer lounging around. We prefer not doing literally anything, okay? And we disguise our lounging around, lounging at work and filling our time with activities that don't really benefit our business, okay? And we don't like to be bored. We don't. We don't like to be bored. If you have a family, you have very little time. If you don't have family, you have very little time, you know, um, financial obligations and everything. You can easily pivot to just a new, jo new job, do something different and everything. But when you have a family and you, you are, you know, being motivated, your family really, really motivates you. They are very no motivational, okay? No matter what day or hour it strikes, okay? So, for example, I hear the cats downstairs making so much noise. So, for example, as a parent, let's say you promised your children, it's 2 o'clock on Friday, okay? You promised your children that you were going to hang with them for the evening, Okay, beginning at, a, beginning at a six. And you also promised that you were going to go camping for the weekend. So you have, it's like two in the afternoon and you have that little gap, that very little, little gap. This is where you become motivated to get the things done that you need to done because you made priorities. You made obligations to your family and you know what as a parent you stick to them you know that you stick to them okay it's not only the financial incentive and desire to provide a very stable quality of life for your family okay and time availability but there's also the desire to provide okay for example you want your kids to be excited. You want your kids to be excited about what life has to offer. So you're wanting to show them this. You want them, you want them to see you working hard, right? You want them to see you working hard. You want them to see that you never give up on your vision. So if you have a specific vision, okay, you have a vision you want your children to see that, right? You want your children to not see you give up when you make that decision. You always buckle down and make things happen, especially if you work from home, as often as I do. That's for sure, okay? You want your kids to get a feel for what it's like. You want them to see you working hard and not giving up on your dreams, Okay, you want them to see your focus. You want them to see your drive. With a family, failure. When you have a family, failure is very costly. It is very costly for us. And that is an extremely great motivator to own your own business. Okay? And the last one is don't fear. You know, as a parent... Yes, do we have fears with our children? Absolutely, we do. Well, being an entrepreneur, it's a mindset. It's a way of life, okay? It's a way for us to open and be available to everyone. Starting a business of your own is definitely not for everyone. I'm gonna be honest, it is not for everyone. But if you feel, if you feel deep inside that fire burning within you, it's not too late. Okay, it is not too late because you have a family. You can never compete with somebody who has no children, okay? You can't. You are not wrong. There's a great, there are so many entrepreneurial wives, husbands, mothers, grandparents, okay? We are out there, okay? Don't ever think just because, you know, I have kids, I can't do this. No, no. You can. You can make a difference in other people's lives. And you sure as heck can make a difference for your own life. Plain and simple. And being a parent, having a family, we have serious advantages of those who don't have a family. Plain and simple. Okay? 
We have that motivation. We have that drive. We have that not fearing what it is that we need to do, okay? We have the perspective because, I mean, hello, we're raising kids, right? And we have the time. We are able to identify. We're able to identify time that we need to do things, okay? So I don't ever want to hear, I can't do that because, you know, I have a family. I'm too busy. <laughs> when it comes to owning your business and having a business, you thrive. You thrive more on being busy, on having a family because you you fit it into your life. You don't fit your life into your business. You fit your business into your life, into the little nooks and crannies throughout your day. Every little bit is a huge step towards the success that you are looking for. And I don't want you to be feeling like you can't do this because you have a family. That is a serious objection. That is a big fat lie. It is a big fat lie. We have so many advantages as a parent, as someone who has children, okay? We have advantages. And I don't want you to ever think that you cannot do what it is that I do, okay? Do you have to go live? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There are some ladies on my team that prefer talking with people in person, and you can totally do that. There are some people who like to have little parties in Messenger, and they're extremely successful. You have to find what works for you, and that is the fun thing. <laughs> That's the fun thing about this whole, whole thing, okay? We're just going to put on a little bit of mascara here. My favorite one called Zen. I love it because I absolutely am obsessed with this kind of brush. It is extremely short. It separates my lashes so amazingly. And it basically gives my lashes that effect of having extensions. When, I'll be honest, I do not have extensions. I never have extensions. And I've never been interested in extensions. But I absolutely love this mascara. Okay? Ugh. The girls are at school today. Yay! Next week, they're starting to have early release Fridays so that the teachers can get some work done and get things done because the teachers are just very overwhelmed, which, you know, I, I get it. I get it. It's kind of unexpected. It's kind of like a pilot that, that our school is trying to see how it works. So it's going to be very interesting to see if it works for everybody. Oh, that left eye looks so amazing today. There we go. Just putting a little bit more on. I think I'm going to go ahead and put on number one. Okay. This is a matte liquid lipstick. Number one. It is a matte liquid lipstick. And it's actually in one of our very special holiday bundles where you can save uh, about 20 bucks. Yep. Saving $20.50. with a beautiful lip winterland bundle. So make sure, make sure to check out my stories today to see that beautiful bundle, okay? There we go. I love this color. This color is just absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you have an amazing day. Until my next video, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, be kind. And I hope you have an amazing day, and I will talk to you later. Toodles!